welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today I have got a dinner recipe for you that is so flavorful, but also super duper cozy and perfect for the fall. We are making butternut squash and black bean enchiladas. That's kind of a mouthful, but they are gluten-free, they are vegan, and they are so good. They also have a homemade enchilada sauce, and I know you guys are just going to love this recipe. So if you do want to make it, I've already put it on the blog for you. So all you have to do is go down in the description box, read down below this video, and click that link. That will take you over to the blog, which has all the photos, more description, ingredients, instruction list, everything that you need to make this recipe. Before we dive in, I wanna pause quickly and invite you to subscribe if you are not yet part of our community here on YouTube. There's a red button right below this video. It says subscribe. All you gotta do is hit that button and then you'll be part of this community. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started with today's recipe. All right, so the first step with this recipe is our sauce. We're going to add some olive oil into a small pan as well as some quinoa flour or whatever flour you want. Whisk that together. Then add in your spices, which is chili powder, cumin, smoked paprika. Also using onion powder and garlic powder. Add that in as well as some tomato paste and start to stir that together. And then slowly stream in your vegetable broth, continuing to whisk in between each addition so that you can make sure that you get everything nice and smooth. So basically what we're doing here is making a red enchilada sauce that uses quinoa flour to thicken it instead of like cornstarch or something like that. So once you've added in all of your vegetable broth, it should be nice and smooth and creamy. I would recommend testing it, and if it needs a little salt or pepper, feel free to add that in. But we will just set that aside and move on to our filling. So the filling is going to start with some butternut squash. Just add cubed butternut squash directly into a pan. And then we are going to top that with just a splash of water, and we're gonna cover this and steam the butternut squash until they are nice and tender. It should take about 10 minutes or so. Once they are soft and tender, you can remove the lid and add in your black beans as well as your salsa. Stir that together until it's all combined and everything is nice and warm and kind of cooked. It doesn't really matter because it's gonna be cooked again, so it doesn't matter if it's piping hot or not. And then you can set this aside and we will start to prepare. So the first thing you're gonna do is roll your taco shells into little enchilada basically. So use a corn tortilla, add in some filling, roll it up, and then we will place these in the bottom of our dish. But the first thing we have to do is add in our enchilada sauce on the bottom. So do about a quarter cup of enchilada sauce, smooth it out over the dish to make sure it's all in there. Then you can just add in all of your tortillas and corn tortillas definitely tend to break. Again, you're baking this so it doesn't really matter. You could use flour if you're not allergic to gluten. And then once you have your tortillas in there, you can just top it again with some sauce, spread it all out, make sure you get all those crevices filled with sauce. I really like it very saucy, so I used a lot here. And then the last step, which is totally optional but really good, is to top everything with some vegan cheese. And I just use the Daya shredded, I think it's the mozzarella, but just any kind of vegan shredded cheese that you want or regular cheese if you can eat cheese. And then we'll pop this in the oven and cook it up until everything is golden brown, the cheese is melted, everything's nice and hot, so good. And then we can just finish it off with a little bit of cilantro, just adds a little nice like finishing touch to it. And to serve it, honestly, I just scoop it right out of the dish. I let it sit for about five, 10 minutes, and then I just scoop it out of the dish and I serve it up. And the thing that I love to do because the sauce is so good is to actually just do another like little drizzle of the red enchilada sauce on top. Some more cilantro. It's really good with a little hot sauce, maybe a little lime juice. But either way, this is such a cozy fall meal. You guys are gonna love this recipe. I really like butternut squash. If you're not a squash fan, you can totally use sweet potato and you could swap out the beans if you want. You could add in more spices. You could add in more veggies. Totally up to you. It's a delicious recipe. And there you have it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed our enchiladas today. I already have another enchilada recipe on the website as well for you. So if you're interested in having like an enchilada party fiesta thing at your house, you could make both batches and I'm interested to see which one you like the best. I personally am a big fan of red enchiladas. I think they're so flavorful, so good. The butternut squash and black bean combo in this one is to die for. You guys are gonna love it. 
Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the recipe is already up on the blog, so all you have to do is click the link right below this video. That will take you over to the blog and give you everything you need to make it. Otherwise, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions for me, drop those down in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Hit that red button right below this video. Click the little bell also next to that button. That will turn on your notifications and make sure that you never miss another video on this channel. We share tons of healthy, mostly plant-based recipes. There's always tons for you to browse through in the archives, but also new recipes every single week for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be here. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.